Wanna get going? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Good timing. I wanted to tell you something. Madarame was talking to a lawyer. I suppose he's serious about suing. I think we should advance our plans. Why don't we go to the palace today? True. You never know what will happen in the palace. We should prepare thoroughly. It's good having a calm, rational person nearby. I'm counting on you. You heard?
Yusuke, we still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Please elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the phantom thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. S so that's how it works. Uh, obviously, I, I knew that. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Thinking back to Matarame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. Alright, so we just gotta steal Madarame's heart by then? There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Hell yeah! That really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like On said, and there's that weird tail. All right, you're Aburage. <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it? It's decided then. Aburage. Nuh uh, not happening. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Oh, just keep it literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. By the way, we should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who'll be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. Do 
you need something. Do you have this? The inmate needs our. Let's execute him! Fusion. You okay with this? You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive some new power. My, my. Terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing unusual. <laughs> I see. Gather them. You change your mind? Done already? What? Oh. Listen up, inmate. Yes. Let's see. How fares your progress in our game? Time to change your mind. You'd like to read the compendium? Registration? You'd like to register this? Read here.
this persona, you'll withdraw this persona. This is your power. This person, you'll withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. The inmate, you wish to perform an execute. Now choose! Not terrible, but not impressive. Not terrible, but not impressive. You okay with this? You okay with this? Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive a fraction of power. My, my. Change your mind? You'd like to read the compendium? Time for some rehabilitation! You wish to perform an execution? Gather them. Looks pretty tough. You change your mind? Justine, you handle this. Read here. Is this what you want? A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Time for some re- Let's execute them! Gather them. I see. A strong persona indeed. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing unusual. Then let us begin. You change your mind. Are you finished? What?
Shut up! Now. No slacking off. <laughs> 